I've read a lot of ghost stories and about a lot of paranormal events, but few leave behind a physical trace. This may be a strange exception, as the evidence just permeated the floor of the Volo Museum in Illinois. And what I'm about to show you is just one of a long history of supernatural occurrences there. Less than one year ago, the Volo Museum just outside Chicago opened up a $6 million Titanic exhibit. But something was captured one night in June on surveillance video. The marketing director, Jim Wadla, said, gave me goosebumps. A shadow of water began trickling into the exhibit, then steadily flowing until the entire large room was covered in inches of water. The crew went to assess the damage and look for the source of the leak. A flood was already strange because in 40 years, there had never been one in that museum. Then Brian Grams, the museum director, came forward with a vexing problem with this event. Quote, we thoroughly inspected everything and there were no broken pipes, roof leaks, or any other obvious points of entry for such large amounts of water. Even the perimeter of the building with a concrete floor was dry without evidence of cracks or holes. This flood is a total mystery, unquote. But it got even weirder when they took a closer look at the surveillance footage. The source of the water appeared to be flowing from a special car in the exhibit. It was a 1912 French concept car of which only two ever existed. The only other one was aboard the Titanic and now rests in the murky depths of the Atlantic Ocean. Watching the water emanate from underneath of it, one can't help but wonder if this has some type of paranormal cause. Or perhaps we're looking at one of two objects caught in a spiral of delayed quantum entanglement but we may now have evidence of what actually happened. Apparently a leviathan of unspeakable size burst through a hollow chamber of inner earth, spewing the sacred waters of Shambhala upward into the building. As the beast writhed and thrashed about, perhaps being awoken from an eons long slumber. All right, I got a little carried away with that joke, but seriously, click here for my video on Leviathan, the monster of the deep. But back to this flood, we actually have no idea what really caused it. So why are employees and visitors hinting at something paranormal? Apparently, the Volo Museum has a long history of psychic turbulence. There have been stories going back more than a century of ghosts that inhabit the area. One involves the spirit of a deceased Civil War soldier who is said to wander the grounds around the museum. The specter began showing up so often that it caught the attention of a team of paranormal investigators a few years ago who claimed to have seen and captured images of a shadow man whom they believed to be the restless soul of that Civil War vet. Guests have also reported frequent sightings in the form of a man's face in a mirror that, to their horror, wasn't really there. Also, frequent strange stories about seeing a child just outside a window. That window being four stories off the ground. A visitor had a very unique encounter a few years ago, in the form of a young man crouched over, staring at a music box. She mistook him for an employee of the museum that was putting on some kind of performance as he was wearing very old style clothing. But something was off about the energy in the room as this youth didn't acknowledge her in the slightest as she became unnerved and left to find her husband. 
soon after finding out that there was no performance and no one knew who he could have been or why he would have been there. For more ghost stories, check out my Ghost Tales of Japan or tons of my other work on myth, mystery, philosophy, and the strange.